But the, but the darlings of Wall Street, the darlings that everybody wants to be long, all index funds, pension funds, hedge funds, retail, everybody wants to be long. Once they wake up and they all wake up, that's the true sign of an absolute uh, monster, monster market. So if you look at the cues right now. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Happy Monday, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope everybody had a great trading day. Um, really good action today. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, not only did the madness continue with names, just, just random names. Again, uh, CR, uh, SR went just, I don't even know what the hell this thing is. I saw it, it was a tiny at one point. Uh, CAN went nuts at one point. It doesn't look like by the, by the chart. Uh, Woof, a name, uh, okay. Woof went nuts. Uh, wish, all these wish, want, maybe, all these crazy stocks, these crazy nutty stocks that nobody's ever thought of or looked at, they went nuts. Again, it could be the Wall Street Pets effect. It could be whatever effect you want. But the moral of the story is they're very, very strong. Continuation uh, speculation money is at literally at all-time highs, right, along with the indexes. But more important than that, and at least for me, right, at least for my world, is what is finally happening uh, with the high beta mega cap technology names. And again, just to kind of a quick review, we had three weeks of aggressive selling going all the way back in the end of April, start of May. Okay. We reclaimed the 50 day moving average uh, of supply on the queues. That was super duper bullish. Slowly but surely, the stocks that were completely dead in the water for weeks and weeks and weeks with zero pulse, no interest. And again, call it that people were watching the AMCs of the world, the GameStops of the world, the people were on vacation, whatever the case may be, the scoreboard was a scoreboard. So slowly but surely, as we started building above the 50-day moving average and day by day went on and stocks stopped going down, that was the key. And once they started reclaiming levels, we started seeing a pretty good rotation back into technology one by one by one. And again, if you look at the leaders, uh, they've been out there, right? Facebook has been incredibly well. Uh, Google has done incredibly well. So we were waiting for everything else. NVIDIA has been an absolute rock star, right? Even today, they came out pre-market, some sort of uh, financing, some sort of notes, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares, right? They took down the stock down 6 $7. You can see your pre-market and just walked it all the way up. That's an incredibly bullish sign. And now they're a week away from uh, splitting the stock four for one. Again, is this the stock that I want to see split? Probably not, right? You see a lot of liquidity there most days, uh, a lot of aggression. It's kind of like Tesla 2.0 in its heyday. So this is not the name we want. But moral of the story is it's starting to pull up other names of technology. And if you've just been watching this broadcast, just for the last you know two, three days, we've talked about the rotation, right? From one to another to another, and slowly but surely, they've been moving on. So uh, Zoom was a big, big mover, right? Really big mover. They came at earnings. They knocked it down a little bit. They engulfed the earnings. And slowly but surely, Friday, if you guys remember that big 351 pivot, that had a big move up, and now it's day two consolidating. Think about it. This thing had a 17-point move, even 24-point move in two days, it rested today down 49 cents. Amazon, with that monster, monster breakout, we talked about the 3300 level, the 3312 level. Uh, it rested on Friday. Again, big resumption today, especially uh, into the close. Look at this candle into the close, just absolutely huge. Uh, we talked about Apple, right? We talked about Apple on the weekend update. And again, honestly, I didn't think it was going to confirm today. It was on my watch for this week, but I didn't believe it was going to reclaim big levels today. And again, right off the word go, uh, they came from the 130 and the 132 weeklies. We saw some 135 weeklies come in. And once it took out this whole level here, this 28 and a half, 29 level, the stock absolutely exploded uh, back to the highs. Look at Roku, right? We talked about Roku on, on, uh, on the weekend update. There was a little bit um, muted reaction on Friday. From that initial uh, from that initial 50 53 break well today it reclaimed 
uh, took out this whole range and had this absolute monster move. So slowly but surely, and, and again, today's day was incredibly seamless. Even Tesla woke up, which was absolutely great. Uh, not the traditional great Tesla 48, but again, you don't need a macro channel to trade Tesla. That's what's great about uh, trading beta. The average true range in most of these names are 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars. So even if you find a channel that's been tested several times and it finally reclaims, it can give you a move to the next measure of potential. So you had a lot of really big moves, uh, even a name like Team. That, again, we covered uh, on the weekend update. Again, took out this whole range here and it had a really nice move. Again, I didn't hear, I didn't know what this stock was until I started doing uh, my chart work on uh, on Saturday, and Friday, uh, Friday evening, Saturday. So this had a monster, monster move as well. Even the slum of all slum. You talk about swimming. Uh, in the septic tank, Netflix hasn't done anything. I mean, literally hasn't done anything since you can make an argument here, right? This is a long time ago. And even though Netflix is no way near a buy-in, okay, I don't even think it's even close, but you can see even like the notes that I was talking about on Apple uh, on, on the weekend update that, hey, maybe it's a one, two days away. Now it's believable. Maybe it is one, two days away of taking out this whole channel here. A name like Square, right? Big move today into supply, it's one day away. If Square can confirm, maybe this thing explodes tomorrow. So we are set up a uh, very, very bullish action, uh, really good action. Anytime you have Apple, Amazon uh, leading the market up, that's a good thing. That's a fantastic thing. So not only are the crazy lunatic stocks that nobody's ever heard of putting up 25, 30, 250% move, but the, but the darlings of Wall Street, the darlings that everybody wants to be long, all index funds, pension funds, hedge funds, retail, everybody wants to be long. Once they wake up and they all wake up, that's the true sign of an absolute uh, monster, monster market. So if you look at the queues right now, a uh, huge move today, right? These are the 52-week highs here. Uh, 42.30 was the old 52-week high, complete breakout here. And now, again, if the market continues to be good, again, anything is possible, right? Tomorrow we can have, you know, aliens land and zap all of us, all of us die and the market crashes. But assuming that doesn't happen, if the market continues to build, and again, maybe there's a res day tomorrow, but does it even matter, right? I looked at one point and I said, wait a minute, the Dow's down 200 points. I don't even think anybody even noticed that the Dow was down 200 points. That's the mark of a strong market. That is the mark of a great speculation market. And the longer that we spend above the 50-day moving average, and now at all-time highs on the queues, more and more areas, more and more names that represent uh, the index are going to get started uh, to get pulled up one by one by one. And, and you can tell. You can literally go through the whole list. There's only, what, there's only 100 stocks in the NASDAQ 100. It shouldn't take... Uh, a lot of time to kind of uh, to manifest itself. But but look at names. I mean, look at names like Shop, right? Look at names like Shop. Huge move today. And look what happens if Shop takes out this whole range tomorrow, right? Look at this whole range here. Look how much room you have to go. This is huge. Square, right? We just talked about Square. If it reclaims the 50-day moving average tomorrow, this thing can, can, can blow up. This thing could be really, really big. Uh, look at a name, you know, continue. Look at the names like Roku. Roku just broke out today. If this thing confirms the 150-day moving average tomorrow, this thing can have a big leg up tomorrow. Apple, again, needs to be bought on any dip tomorrow, any dip tomorrow uh, into rising 60-minute support. And again, for all you guys who are using charts, well, excuse me, should be using charts, uh, switch to the 60-minute interval. That is the rising 60-minute support. And this is where people who chase stocks at the highs are going to start panicking out and start making sales uh, into rising support. If you look at this level here, you see this orange line? That's what rising support. Every time it hit this line, it bounced. Hit this line, bounce. Hit this line, bounce. Hit this line, bounce. Hit this line, bounce. So anything tomorrow, if Apple gives you uh, a lower opening tomorrow, uh, you know, definitely look at the rising 60-minute support for an entry or obviously a red to green. Same thing that was happening with, with Amazon, right? Every single time Amazon hit any type of rising support in the last couple of days, since it's 3,300, 33,12 breakout, every time it hits rising support, it bounces up again. Uh, today, we saw uh, 3,400 weeklies for next week, 3,500 weeklies. And again, if everything uh, works right and everything looks good, and again, this is the highest close in this whole formation, uh, we should test this 3430s level, maybe even stretched out to the 3464 level. This looks incredible, like really, really good. Even smaller names like PLTR, right? This thing had good call buying today. It came for the 25s. 
It came for the 27s. This thing is literally one day away. If it could just take out the top of this channel here, maybe this thing gets uh, into the 37s. A name, and we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second, a name like AYX that nobody even probably knows it's alive. But again, they had good option flow uh, from last Friday. A guy came in, a uh, pretty decent sized buyer came in from last Friday when the stock was at 82. He bought this week's expiration $90 calls. This thing is one day away from going to 90. So we are set up, guys. Okay, the key is don't chase stocks that are overextended. Don't chase stocks that already made their moves. The stock that made their moves, look at them on dips. Again, the, the word buy the dip is the epitome, right? Is literally the epitome for a bull market. You can't get any more bullish action than we are right now. So use names like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, right? Names that broke out, use them as, as vehicles for rising 60 minute support. And then start looking at names, you know, like an AYX, like a PLTR, like a shop, uh, like a Roku for continuation uh, out of their channels. The market looks really, really good. So hopefully everybody uh, is doing well. So let's talk about uh, today's day. A lot of really big moves. Uh, that's the best way I could say it. Uh, Peloton never got to this 114 level. Uh, I actually caught Tesla twice today. We, we, we caught it off that uh, 20 level. It went to 25, and that's where it got completely rejected. So we knew that level was going to be big. It traded right into the 25s, but really nice opening trade uh, on Tesla. And then we caught the dip on this thing on the rising support for another uh, few bucks back. And again, that's the whole point of strong stocks giving you one move into rising support. Roku, just an absolute monster. Uh, 353, 354 needs to build. Here was Roku, right? Here was Roku. It took out the three. Look at the 60 minute view, right? So it takes out this 343, just absolutely go nuts. Uh, traded right to the next supply zone, uh, all the way to 369. Just an absolute uh, huge move there. Um, Zoom rested today. Zoom did nothing. Zoom literally got to uh, 369 and it rested. Uh, Lulu, I didn't see. It looks like a flash crash. Well, I don't want to use the word flash crash, but it looks like a melt up, like a, like a kind of a flash up. On Lulu, it just didn't make sense. If you look at it, I didn't trade Lulu today, but 339, 340 needs to build. Look at Lulu, just a weird move at the open. It took, it went up $7, but I missed it. I don't know how I missed it. I didn't even see it. Uh, it looks like some sort of flash mob there. Again, I had nothing to do with it. If, uh, if you had it and somehow made money on it, congratulations. But uh, again, I had nothing. Uh, team, really nice move on team. Again, we covered this thing on uh, the weekend update. 245, 246 needs to build. Here is team, right? So it took out this whole 245, 236, literally closed at the highs of 251. Again, another candidate that closed above uh, rising support. Uh, any dip tomorrow into rising support. This thing looks great, right? It looks absolutely great. So keep an eye on team for tomorrow. Uh, Apple, again, monster, uh, 128, 50, 129 needs to build. Again, huge, huge macro area. And Apple, again, doesn't seem like a big move, but Apple trades like, you know, for every $3 on Apple, it's like $10 on Tesla. So monster move, reclaim the 50-day moving average. Again, any dip tomorrow needs to be bought uh, or a red to green move. Again, I like this thing uh, for higher prices. Uh, Dell, again, Dell will never, ever, ever, ever confirm ever again. Uh, AYX was absolutely huge. Again, a buyer came in. I guess this is what we talk about, um, the options market dictating the equity flow. So uh, 83 uh, needs to build on AYX. Here was AYX. It took out the 83, went to 86. Nice move there. Again, a lot of big moves today. Really, really nice moves. Guys, I apologize for all you guys who are on the Twitter feed. I forgot to put the price on Docu. I, sorry, I forgot to put the price. Um, it was that 54 level that we discussed um, on, the, on the email. Actually, you had the price on, on uh, the weekend email. I just forgot to put it on the feed. But anyway, it took out the 54 and traded all the way up to the 61 level on Docu. Nice continuation. Uh, CAN, nice move on CAN. $10 needs to build. Uh, buyers were coming in for short-term 1250 expiration. Again, buyers option market dictating. So it took out the 10 and went all the way to 11 and change. Nice move there. On can, uh, nice move again, nice, and again, best stock ever. It gave us a $5 candle instantly. Just a great, great stock. I, I can't wait for Tesla to confirm macro. It would be wonderful. So uh, nice move there, nice move there. Roku just an, oops, Roku just an absolute uh, monster on Roku. Canada new highs, Apple new highs. 
Plantier I still like really, really a lot. Uh, here comes new highs. Uh, Roku, they were coming for the 375 weekly calls. Uh, looks like one more day of upside, 86 on deck. That was the high, 130 on deck. That was the high. And that's it, right? And that's it. So uh, everything is set up for tomorrow. Uh, there's some good value on, on, on deck. Uh, the key is, again, do your research tonight. Find the value. Find the names, especially coming off the bottom, that are just trying to reclaim major macro levels. And those are the names. If they can get some good option flow early on in the morning, those are the ones usually to get the rocket launcher. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And I'll see you.